I know what's wrong. What's wrong? You want to play Crazy Taxi? You like Crazy Taxi? Yeah, let's play some Crazy Taxi, okay? Yeah, let's play some Crazy Taxi. Here we go. Yep, I'm going to put the game this. See, it's right here. Are you ready? Yep, let's go. <laughs> Hop in. Hey, this is great. Come on over, have some fun with Crazy Taxi! Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go! Yes, here we go! Playing one of the truly great video hey, games here. of the past, hey. Crazy the Taxi, oh, for the Sega Dreamcast. And why is it truly great, you ask? Its beauty yeah, lies yeah, in its simplicity. Drive a taxi, pick up customers, and get them to their destination as quickly as possible. Like other great games such as Wii Sports, Super Mario Brothers, and Hot Shots Golf, this is a truly addictive game that anyone can get into. From the minute you start playing Crazy Taxi, you notice right away that this is an arcade game with a capital R, uh, I, I mean A. This game originated in the arcades and it shows. Every game is short and a pure rush of adrenaline that only a true arcade game can deliver. I've seen guys buying big arcade cabinets, special joysticks to get that arcade experience, and that's great and everything, but honestly, I think the easiest way to get that true arcade experience is to simply play arcade style games. Great arcade games like Crazy Taxi for the Sega Dreamcast. So in addition to driving around your customers, you can also do tricks and other perilous moves to get some extra money. I'm not sure exactly why that gets you extra money. Maybe your customers find it entertaining. Who knows, I guess it's best not to think too much about it. There's an arrow to show you which way to go, and most of the time it's pretty good, but occasionally the arrow will steer you right into a building or some other obstacle. And when every second counts, believe me, in this game every second does count, then that is not cool. Yes, there are real companies in this game, such as Tower Records, Pizza Hut, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes, I said Kentucky Fried Chicken. Fried Chicken. You can hide behind the KFC initials all you want, Colonel, but the chicken is fried. In fact, we know. That's why it's so delicious. Anyway, I know some people might complain that this is in-game advertising or whatever, but in this case it makes perfect sense and suits the game very well. I actually think some games should have more advertising in them. For example, in a realistic hockey game, on, the board should be yeah, littered yeah, with I logos from real companies, just like in real hockey. Putting a logo like 2K Sports or whatever all over the boards just reminds you that you're playing a video game. That's about right. Uh, but I digress. Visually, this game holds up amazingly well, considering it was released in 2000. The frame rate feels smooth, and you really get a great sense of speed. Yes. Crazy Taxi is still crazy after all these years. The licensed music from The Offspring can be dreadfully repetitive at full volume, but if you turn it down to a dull roar, as I did for this review, then it serves its purpose admirably. I'm impressed with how well this game uses the jump pack that I have plugged into my Sega Dreamcast controller. Unfortunately, it doesn't do much with the VMS screen. It simply shows a Crazy Taxi logo. Hey, come here. On the options screen, there's an arcade mode and an original mode. I haven't noticed a big difference between the two, except the original mode seems to be more forgiving on time if you play by the arcade rules. There are other options to play for a certain amount of time, but I always pick the arcade rules. 
there are some other challenges and stuff you can do, but blah, 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 who cares? The arcade mode is what you're really after. There are different drivers to choose from, and I haven't seen a difference in how they handle their cars, but they say different things, so it's nice to have that variety. If you like your gaming in short bursts, and if you like simple yet addictive gameplay, then I'm sure you'd enjoy Crazy Taxi. I'm playing the Dreamcast version, however this game is also available for the GameCube, PlayStation 2, Game Boy Advance, and the PC. Wow, I wonder what the Game Boy Advance version would be like. I guess I'll have to keep my eye out for it. Crazy Taxi for the Sega Dreamcast. Yeah! What? No, you hit it! Let's move it. Yeah, yeah just, just a time. second. Running out. Time Hop in again. Bonus. Thanks. I've done bet. Hurry, pick someone up. Better hurry. Yeah, yeah, I oh. got it. Hey, hey, hey! Got it, got it. Shut up. How long do you have to take? You Time's suck. up. Look at the time. All right, it's time to check out how you did today. Now let's take a look. A uh, class C license. You don't belong down here. You better try it again. Game over.